What is up guys, it's your boy Steve Jazz, back at it again. What do I have three bats in my head? We are in my amazing batting cage. So grateful for my father for building it when I was young. Got some cool Hall of Famers behind me and A-Rod. This video is the first installment of Road to the Pros, episode one. Guys, super excited, man. You guys gave me a lot of love and support on that announcement video. Hey, shout out to Valley Boys Nation, you guys are awesome. If you guys wanna check out the full explanation of what led me to this point, go ahead, check out that video. Taking a gap year, we're training our ass off, we're grinding. We're gonna train to make it on a professional team. But guys, I'm not stupid. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. This Road to the Pros is gonna be a tough journey. You guys, fortunately, with this gap, I have time to start from ground zero and work out the things that I suck at. Work out the things I want to be way more consistent at. Yeah, I'm kind of like on my own clock, which I'm so grateful for. But main overall objectives, I want to be hitting every single day and working on the things that I'm not that good at, man. And that's being consistent with a tight turn. Sometimes I'll get out of my legs and be way too pushy with my arms. So working on that today, working on being way more explosive. Sometimes lifting really heavy weights, I'll just get slow and not necessarily like explosive. But in baseball, guys, everything's about speed and quickness, you know? So yeah, another big focus today. We're going to do a lot of T-work. going to start working with some coaches that know what the heck they're doing. Make sure you guys are part of the series. If you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on those post notifications, man. Don't miss a video. So let's quit talking. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, big thing with me. Maybe you guys can learn something from it. But dude, I hurt my shoulder, man. I haven't really like been injured before. I ended up tripping, trying to catch myself like a push up, and then kind of just like overexerted it right here. Still need to get an official diagnosis, but that means we just gotta strengthen it. Gonna do some bear crawls and reverse bear crawls just to get myself warmed up. Just to have really good mobility, you gotta warm up properly. But guys, it's super hot, so I'm gonna take this thing off. Yeah, that's better. I got some uh, shade. Probably look like a twig right now, but eh. It's what we're working with, guys. This is my blank canvas. Let's get into those bear crawls. Shout out, Dr. Heenan. Try to keep my form like as well as I could right there. Shoulders are warmed up. I'm gonna start ramping those up. Guys, I'll be honest. I left my BGs at Dodger Film. Sure. So these are my replacements, and there's like a fat hole, so it's, my hand is kind of burning right now. But hey, no excuses. We're gonna ramp it up next time with some fresh BGs. Let's finish a little warm up. Heating up in the valley a little bit. Comment down on how hot it is where you're from. I think it's probably just 90 right now, not too crazy. Working in a little sweat for the warm up. All right, guys, I just want to preface this montage with everybody's hitting routine is completely different. We can all learn from each other. So I want you guys to comment down what you guys do in your daily hitting routine. I'll show you guys what I do. I'm definitely open for new things because I don't know everything, right? So just take what you can with a grain of salt. This stuff helps me work on the stuff I need to work on to get better. The big thing I like to do when I get started is with the short bat. Right here, I just focus on getting that good load, staying 50 50 with my legs and then just shooting it up the middle or right center. Big thing is I just don't want to be pulling off the ball with my upper body. I like to get a good like 10 to 15 to 20 on those. And then we'll move it with the big boy bats. So let's get it, Valley Boys, baby. <laughs> See, I got around that one. I have to find that ball, grab it back, and put it back on the tee and do a redo. Obviously no redos in games, but I like to think about it like that in the cage. guys that I'm thinking is making sure I'm in that good like kind of like squat position not necessarily like too quad heavy but in that position like that power position when you're in a deadlift or a squat so from there you can feel like way more explosive that felt good but I was still kind of falling over that means I gotta have a more stiff front leg it's a big thing I'm working on too there we go adjustments baby That was good, but kind of looked ugly. Nope. I did a one-handed bat flip pass off. What the heck is that? I'm just making up things. Gotta have fun with it too, bro. You guys gotta remember, this is just a game. Seriously, you can't play all tense, man. You're not gonna do good. Trust me, I lived a whole career doing it. It makes you so inconsistent. Take it back, give all glory to God, and just have fun, man. But also work hard. The kingdom, the kingdom. You guys already know, rocking out to Kanye West, Eminem used this gospel. If you guys wanna listen to what I'm listening to in here, check me out on Spotify. I'll throw a link in the description, the playlist I made. 
All right, we're switching to regular bat. We're about to pine tar this baby up. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Yeah, this is how we like it. I like to use a ton of pine tar so I don't like over grip the bat and like use my arms too much. Like I said, my shoulder's a little jacked up right now. So we're gonna go some progression swings. We're gonna go like 40, 50, 60, 70 and just ramp it up slowly. Oh yeah, shoulder's definitely feeling stiff. That means my lower half mechanics have to be even better, bro. Like 60% swing right there. Just making sure that turn feels natural, man. And the upper half feels effortless. That's why you'll see me kind of dead and everything at the back swing. Okay, if any uh, batting glove companies were watching this and want to reach out, let's do a giveaway. Send me a couple batting gloves. I'll rep them and we'll do a giveaway on the channel. Cause dude, these are falling apart, man. I've had these for a minute. You see, that one felt solid, but I still got around it. Give me that ball. We're not gonna go 100% today, guys. We're still ramping up from the shoulder injury. So we're gonna start to do some like walking stuff for some rhythm. See how it feels the harder swing I go. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear right now. That felt solid, guys. Gonna end it on that one. I was talking to Eric Davis the other day at the draft. Such a name drop right there, bro. Just Reds Hall of Famer. But he was saying, honestly, guys, he only takes like 20 to 25 to 30 swings. And when he knows he's had a good string of really good swings, he just stops the set. He doesn't need to keep on going until he's completely worn out his swing. And it made sense. I was like, you know what? Like, That's solid advice. Thank you, Reds Hall of Famer. But leaving on a good note is really good idea in the cage because hitting is really 75% mental. As long as you could bring what you worked on into the field that day, I'd say it's solid. I don't want to push my shoulder right now and we're gonna keep on working on it next sesh but guys right now since i don't have a throwing partner we're gonna use the cage baby we're gonna throw against my net anybody that wants to send an application to be my new throwing partner go ahead dm me on instagram at steven Kinez. looking for a new one let me know how close you are to the valley in los angeles yeah let's get my arm loose all right guys just like uh with my hitting how i used to hit 400 something foot bombs yeah. jesus whoa Somewhere in the, <laughs> in the abyss. Only being 5'9", guys, I'm not that tall. I used to have an absolute cannon from the outfield throwing 94, but guys, right now, it's definitely lower than that. And we need to get back up to that. And then we're gonna go for 100, man. We're gonna go for as much as we can on a pull down. I'm not a pitcher, I'm an outfielder, so we measure our stuff with pull downs and off the mound. So 100 is a little bit more realistic than you would think. But we gotta start somewhere. Uh, we're gonna get some new J-bands. I accidentally left them in Monterey. We're gonna get some on order. I'll get a discount code for you guys, that'd be cool. But we gotta take care of that rotator cuff, man. So we're gonna do a little progression right here, make sure everything's loose. My lower half feels loose. So my core feels loose. So that's why I kind of like to do it after I hit. Now let's get started, man. Hey, road to 100, baby. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I never really understood why some guys did those throws, but ever since I started doing them, it really helps you feel like more whippy. A lot of pitchers do them rather than just like throwing with your elbow. Also, guys, a big thing, when I worked my ass off to go from 80 to 90 in perfect game showcases, I would legit just play long toss with my net, dude. That's all I did. Obviously, lifted a ton, ate a ton, still went to practice every day and stuff, but don't be afraid to throw every day. Seriously, like you wanna keep your arm active, you wanna keep your arm moving, because the second you just stop throwing is the second your arm just starts forgetting how to throw, bro. I don't know, the more you work on it, even if it's light, throws even if it's like to 90 gotta be doing something myself at 90 right here envision myself at 90 feet so kind of just being athletic making sure i get it like kind of like a ground ball just a little bit of movement right to keep myself loose i just hit my guy in the chest i'm aiming for a spot on the wall right now so it stays consistent partner bring it in bring it in 
Just like that, guys, that is good on throwing for the day. And now I gotta pick my sisters up from school. So yeah, older brother duties. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video today. I'm about to head over to the gym right now. Comment down below if you guys wanna see some gym content as well. But yeah, guys, just had a light day in the cage. Ramping back up for the first road to the pros vlog. Really appreciate if you stay for the whole thing. Shout out to my boy, Dancing Umpire, who sent me the Savannah Bananas hat. Definitely something to work for, guys. We got a lot of work to do, but we're on the path. Road to the pros, baby. We're gonna start going to fields and stuff. We're gonna ramp it up. Drop a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new. Join the Valley Boys. Valley Boys are the ones to get that working when nobody's watching. And when 70,000 of you guys are watching, hey, like 71,000 now, I appreciate all you guys 100K soon. Go ahead, shop Valley Boys. Just had a restock on the website, valleyboys.shop. Link gonna be in the description. Follow your boy on Instagram at Stephen Kinez. And yeah, guys, that's gonna be that in the video today. Hey, Valley Boys up, baby. Peace.